Hello guys and welcome to not a Minecraft video but a tutorial video on how to render videos out in um, you know in Sony Vegas so Minecraft videos so I'm gonna give you a tutorial on what the, what I use as color correction sharpen and all that stuff and how to export it out as well will render as so what I use is I'll use these um, these things so if you go into your the project area so here you got the tabs and if you go to video FX you go to uh, brightness and color and this is what I do since fraps splits up their files into multiple things this is tip instead of just like dragging it individually just do this just drag drop so I've already done this so um, I just no longer need that bit there so cancel oh never mind just ignore it but anyway so I've got these other things so what else you need is uh, with brightness and color you'll also need a color corrector which is this so drag drop into that uh, also go to sharpen which is here uh, if I can find it sharpen to drag drop and each time you do it it'll pop up a new window but since I've already done it and I've already edited this video you just click that button if you want to see your video FX so let's start with the uh, brightness and uh, contrast so I have it up to 0.03 because if you do it too bright because it'll end up looking like this uh, well if you do it too high it'll look very white and stuff like that so let me just put that back down to not uh, 3 I also have the contrast down just to bring it down to a bit you know stick the colors up a bit more and all that stuff so now let's go on to color creator so why do you you only want to do slight you know color hits on each thing so I just this really it's all done you know done by I you're right and if you think this video needs a bit more of this do it yourself it's really easy that's the beauty of editing you, you do it to your own taste as such but I always like to have the lowest you know hinted as green the mid hinted you know a light blue and the highs hinted as a you know when I say hinted like you know a bit closer to you know the certain color so I like it near the pink and purple and also this is a good thing as well have the saturation hinted a bit because it brings out the colors a lot more like if, I, if you have it too saturated it brings out way too much but if you do it uh, subtly oh god I've, what have I done <laughs> oh my goodness uh, so, oh hello I've just got oh well this is going well but you know if you do it well enough uh, one minute, let me just let me sort this out so when you you know if you ever want to test it just do this yeah, so that looks alright. Uh, you know, every time you want to test it, just hit you know the space bar, or the play bar, and you just test it out. Now let's go on to sharpen. This is what it does. Like um, sharpen does, it pretty much it it gives it the borders. Like if I do it sharpen, it like I can't really explain how sharpen it is. It's really like you know the edges of like pixels and stuff like that. It it emphasizes it. So that's why you kind of want to do it kind of subtly. So like there, and now test. Let's test it. Yeah, so look, if you do it too high, it's like, whoa. But if you do it subtly, it gives it a nice kind of look. So let's remove that. Yeah, and there we go. So that's it. Now, we've got. I've told you what the things are. You know, these. this is just the basics. So now what you want to do is, now, uh, is now you want to go to File, Render As. Now, this is where it comes down to your preference. Sometimes I use Windows Movie File, uh, so Windows Media Movie, uh, Windows Media Video, if my videos are kind of short, so like a five minute video, because sometimes I do mod spotlights and they only last about five to eight minutes. I'll save them as a Windows Movie File because since there's such a small time, it, the video styles is down and I can you know make the things better. But if you're doing really long videos and you want to cut back down on um, you know cut down on video size, this is what you do. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> so if you want to do, you know, you know, compress, you know, keeping the video set files down, you go to main concept AVC slash AAC dot MP4. Now this is a template which I'll give to your. So let's go to my YouTube one. So now if we go to custom, so now follow these. Now so name it, you know, like I said, you know, up YouTube up there. So YouTube, uh, you know. Ugh. There we go. Uh, YouTube, you know, custom frame size. You just ignore that. You, yeah, click on that. Custom frame size, 12 8 by 720. You never really want to do 1080p because for it to be uploaded to YouTube, it takes forever. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of pointless. So click on constant bit rate, 768,000. 
and the rest is should be stay the same as uh, how it is so I'll leave you know pause it and you know just take notes stuff like that now audio now this is what you want to do make sure you check at uh, check check include audio make sure it's 48,000 uh, the bit rate you know 128,000 the project is uh, it now this is down to your preference so video rendering quality this is what affects your um, file size so you can either do best you can do good but never really do like really you know like nothing below so I, I like to do best so I want to keep the quality good even if it means I have to, it takes long for it to upload uh, okay so if and I've already saved it as that so now really that's it and if you want to read you know re go over anything just uh, you know flip back to the start and I'll hopefully explain everything so yeah goodbye guys